Welcome to the studios of WCMU Public Television. And on this episode of Quiz Central, we continue our season with a second round game between Lettington and Ovid Elsie, coming up right after this. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvi Event Center. Let's get today's match underway. Here is your first question on Quiz Central. Teddy Roosevelt. That is correct. Crimson. Yes, that answer is correct. Patella. Correct. Congratulations, Ludington. You are the Quiz Central Season 16 Grand Champions. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Ozanek and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 17th season of Quiz Central here on WCMU. We continue with the second round of our tournament this week as we'll be joined by students from Ludington and Ovid Elsie. Each of our teams today will be independently challenged with an identical set of questions. The school that answers the most questions correctly in the time allotted will advance to the final four of season 17. At the end of the season, four Quiz Central seniors will receive a book scholarship provided by the CMU Bookstore. This week, the White Division takes center stage on Quiz Central, so let's not waste any time and get today's match underway. Our first round of the day is the Maroon and Gold Rush. Our teams will have just two minutes to answer as many questions correctly as they can. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. There is no deduction for incorrect answers. Students will be able to consult with their teammates on each question, but final answers will be coming from the team's captain. Ludington, you're up first, so here comes your first question in the Maroon and Gold Rush. What particles theorized by George Zwig and Murray Gelman are held together by glucons and hadrons and come in six flavors, including up and charm? Quarks. Quarks. Quarks is correct. What, are, what author's story, The Final Problem, describes a confrontation at Reichenbach Falls that seems to lead to the death of the detective Sherlock Holmes? Uh, Arthur Conan, Conan Doyle. Arthur C what? Conan Doyle. What was the first word you said? Arthur, Arthur Conan, Conan Doyle. Arthur Conan Doyle. That is correct. Next question. To grow, most arthropods must undergo what process in which they shed their old exoskeletons? Molting. Molting. Molting is correct. What state where the Plump Jack group was founded is governed, governed by Kimberly Guilfoyle's ex-husband, Gavin Newsom, who was the mayor of San Francisco? Uh, California, I guess. Yeah, California. California. California is correct. What Roman emperor ended the crisis of the third century by creating the Tetrarchy? Diocletian. Diocletian. That is correct. Next question. What city is home to the popular Teramachi Street, was Japan's capital before it was moved to Tokyo, and names an environmental protocol of the 1990s? I think it's Osaka. Osaka? Osaka is incorrect. Next question. The Great Dismal Swamp lies mostly in what U.S. state, whose southeast is also home to the cities of Norfolk and Newport News? Virginia. 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 Virginia is correct. What energy that appears in the Arrhenius equation is reduced by catalysts and is the energy that must be added for a reaction to proceed? Activation. Activation. That is, activation is correct. Oh, and with that bell is going to signify the end of the round, but fantastic job, Ludington. You only missed one question in that opening round. Ludington has a fantastic start with seven correct answers and 70 points. Ovid Elsie, it's now your turn in today's Maroon and Gold Rush. Let's put two minutes back up on the clock. What particles, theorized by George Zwig and Murray Gelman, are held together by glucons and hadrons and come in six flavors, including up and charm? Quarks. Final answer? Yes. Quarks is correct. What author's story, The Final Problem, describes a confrontation at Reichenbach Falls that seems to lead to the death of the detective Sherlock Holmes? Pass. Pass. Next question. To grow, most arthropods must undergo what process in which they shed their old exoskeletons? 
Molting. Molting. Molting is correct. What state where the Plump Jet group was founded is governed by Kimberly Guilfoyle's ex-husband Gavin Newsom, who was the mayor of San Francisco? California. California. California is correct. What Roman emperor ended the crisis of the third century by creating the Tetrarchy? Pass. Pass. Next question. What city is home to the popular Teramachi Street, was Japan's capital before it was moved to Tokyo, and names an environmental protocol of the 1990s? Kyoto. Kyoto is correct. The Great Dismal Swamp lies mostly in what U.S. state, whose southeast is also home to the cities of Norfolk and Newport News? Connecticut. Connecticut's incorrect. What energy that appears in the Arrhenius equation is reduced by catalysts and is the energy that must be added for a reaction to proceed? Pass. Chemical Matt, energy. Pass. On the next question. What author of the screenplay for the 2012 film Lincoln explored the AIDS crisis in his two-part play, Angels in America? Oh, sorry, with that bell, we're not going to be able to have time to get an answer in on that one. We wrap our maroon and gold rush with Lettington 70 over to LC 40. And here are the answers to the missed questions in that opening round. The author of the screenplay for the 2021 movie Lincoln was Tony Kushner. Only one round so far, but there's still a lot more questions to be asked on today's Quiz Central. But right now, we're going to take a quick break to meet the players from each of today's schools. So we'll start with the students from Ludington High School. Hi, my name is Annalisa Smith. I'm a senior at Ludington High School, and I play bass in the jazz band. Hello, I'm Lucas Tebow, senior at Ludington High School as well. Hello, I am Aiden Tomorrow. I'm a senior at Ludington High School, and I'm in the cross-country team. Hi, I'm Jack McWickey. I'm a senior at Ludington High School, and I'm planning on going to Grand Valley State. Thank you, Ludington. Now, the team from Ovid Elsie. Take it away. Hi, I'm Ryan Devenda. I'm a junior at Ovid Elsie High School, and I do cross-country swimming and track. My name is Alexis. I'm an 11th grader. I do student council, cross-country swimming, and track. Hi, I'm Perrin Rash, and I am a three-sport athlete. I play football, basketball, baseball, and I'm also an FFA. I'm Austin Smith. I'm a junior at Ovid LC High School. I run cross-country and track, and I play the accordion. Well, now that we've had a chance to meet everyone, let's head into the next round of competition, the Perfect Ten. In this round, our team will be given a category, and they'll have 60 seconds to answer as many questions correctly as they can. Our Perfect 10 category for today is Constitutional Amendments. What amendment to the U.S. Constitution? Ludington, we're going to start with you. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock and head into the Perfect 10 round. Allows defendants to not testify against themselves. Fifth. Fifth. Fifth is correct. Contains the Equal Protection Clause. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteenth is incorrect. Guarantees the right to keep and bear arms. Second. Second. Second's correct. Guarantees the right to a speedy trial. I think that's fourth. Fourth? I think. Fourth is incorrect. Is the only one that was later repealed. No, this is... Eighteenth. Oh, Eighteenth. Eighteenth? Eighteenth is correct has free exercise and establishment clauses related to religious freedom. First. Is that the first? First, first is correct. Gave women the right to vote. Nineteenth. Nineteenth is correct. Prohibits forced peacetime quartering of soldiers in civilian homes. Oh, sorry, that bell's going to signify the end of the round. Ludington was able to rack up 50 points in the Perfect Ten round today, bringing their score to 120. And it's now Ovid Elsie's turn to add to their score in the Perfect Ten. Let's put 60 seconds back up on the clock. Allows defendants to not testify against themselves. The Fifth Amendment. Fifth Amendment. Fifth is correct. Contains the Equal Protection Clause. Pass. Guarantees the right to keep and bear arms. The Second. Second. Second's correct. Guarantees the right to a speedy trial. Sixth. 
Six is correct. Is the only one that was later repealed. The 20th. 20th is incorrect. Has free exercise and establishment clauses related to religious freedom. First. First is correct. Gave women the right to vote. 19th. Correct. 19th. Prohibits forced peacetime quartering of soldiers in civilian homes. Third. Third. Third is Third. correct. Oh, with that bell, that's going to signify the end of the round, but Ovid Elsie performs well in today's Perfect Ten with 60 points and now sits with a total of 100. With two rounds in the book so far, our score is Ludington 120, Ovid Elsie 100. Let's go ahead and take a look at those Perfect Ten round questions that we missed. Uh, the amendment that contains the Equal Protection Clause, that is the 14th Amendment. In this round, I'll be asking each team a series of random questions. Team members will be able to consult with each other, and final answers will be coming from the team's captains. We're going to start with Ludington in today's home stretch round. Students, here comes your first question. What city near the confluence of the St. Charles and St. Lawrence Rivers is the namesake and capital of the largest province in Canada? Quebec. I think so. Quebec. Quebec is correct. What Greek letter has a lowercase version used in defining limits with epsilon and an uppercase version that represents change? Delta. Uh, Delta. Delta. Delta is correct. What novel in which Dr. Manette is freed from the Bastille begins, It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, and is also Tale set in cities. London? A Tale of Two Cities. A Tale of Two Cities is correct. An Italian word meaning sustained names what piano pedal? The middle one on a modern piano, which allows a player to sustain some but not all notes. No answer. No answer. On to the next question. What club-wielding character who attacks Merope is turned into a constellation after he is killed by a scorpion and is a mythical Greek hunter? Orion. 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 Orion's correct. The so-called Babylonian captivity of the papacy began in 1309 when Pope Clement V set up his court in what city in southern France? Um... I think it starts with an A. No answer. No answer. On to the next question. What five-letter physics term describes an idealized body with zero deformation, so its shape and size remain constant when a force is applied? Rigid? Rigid? We'll take rigid. Correct. What element, whose value of 3.98 on the Pauling scale, makes it the most electronegative element, is a pale yellow gas that is the lightest halogen? Fluorine. Uh, I don't, yeah. Fluorine. Fluorine is correct. What title is held by the monarchy's representative in former British colonies, such as Canada and New Zealand? Prime Minister. Uh, yeah, I think it's that. Prime Minister. Prime Minister is incorrect. What president, who Giuseppe Zangara tried to assassinate, imposed a bank holiday and signed the National Recovery Act while launching the New Deal? Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Correct. In 1958, businessman Harry Winston donated what blue gemstone, which is over 45 carats, to the Smithsonian Institution? Diamond or something. Hope's diamond. Oh, sorry, that Hope bell diamond. that bell we just heard is going to signify the end of the round, so we're not going to be able to get an answer to that one. Ludington's able to gain some momentum in that home stretch round and add 70 points to their score, bringing their total up to 190. We now turn to Ovid Elsie to see how they'll handle the home stretch round. Students, here comes your first question. What city near the confluence of the San Charles and St. Lawrence Rivers is the namesake and capital of the largest province in Canada? Uh, Quebec City. Quebec is correct. What Greek letter has a lowercase version used in defining limits with epsilon and an uppercase version that represents change? 
Delta. Delta is correct. What novel in which Dr. Manette is freed from the Bastille begins, It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, and is also set in London? A Tale of Two Cities. That is correct. An Italian word meaning sustained names what piano pedal, the middle one on a modern piano, which allows a player to sustain some but not all notes? A, sust a suspend pedal. Uh, suspend is incorrect. On to the next question. What club-wielding character who attacks Merope is turned into a constellation after he is killed by a scorpion and is a mythical Greek hunter? Orion. Orion's correct. The so-called Babylonian captivity of the papacy began in 1309 when Pope Clement V set up his court in what city in southern France? Rome. Well, that is incorrect. On to the next question. What five-letter physics term describes an idealized body with zero deformation, so its shape and size remain constant when a force is applied? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. What element, whose value of 3.98 on the polling scale makes it the most electronegative element, is a pale yellow gas that is the lightest halogen? Is it neon? Neon? Neon's, in, neon's incorrect. On to the next question. What title is held by the monarchy's representative in former British colonies, such as Canada and New Zealand? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. What president, who Giuseppe Zangara tried to assassinate, imposed a bank holiday and signed the National Recovery Act while launching the New Deal? Uh, Franklin Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Final answer, over Elsie. Roosevelt. Ryan. Roosevelt is correct. In 1958, businessman Harry Winston donated what blue gemstone, which is over 45 carats, to the Smithsonian Institution? Sapphire. Uh, sapphire. Sapphire is incorrect. What NBA team, which plays home games at Capital One Arena, made a trade with the Houston Rockets in December 2020 to acquire Russell Westbrook? Uh, the Lakers. The Lakers. Lakers is incorrect. I'm the, oh, and that bell's going to signify the end of the round. Ovid Elsie finishes up our home stretch with five correct answers and 50 points. And let's quickly take a look at the questions that were missed in that round. The artist that depicted melting clocks in his work, The Persistence of Memory, was Salvador Dali. The Italian word, meaning sustained, that names a piano pedal, is sostenuto. The city in southern France where Pope Clement V set up his court was Avignon. The title held by monarchy's representatives in former British colonies is Governor General. And finally, that 45 karat gemstone donated by Harry Winston was the Hope Diamond. Our score is now Ludington 190, Ovid LC 150 as we head into the final round of the day, the final countdown. Our teams will have just two minutes to answer as many questions as they can with correct answers still being worth 10 points apiece. Ludington, you're up first in the final countdown, so let's put two minutes on the clock and here comes your first question. In 1898, Congress passed the Newlands Resolution, allowing the U.S. to annex what territory two years later? Hawaii? No, no, no. Uh, Louisiana. The, the Oregon Territory? The Oregon Territory? Oregon is incorrect. Next question. What particle is a charged lepton less massive than the muon, muon is emitted by beta minus decay and occupies orbitals around atomic nuclei? Electron. Electron. Electron's correct. Special relativity is partly based on an axiom stating that what physical quantity is the same in all reference frames? The speed of light. The speed of light. Speed of light's correct. What color, which represents a Northern Irish Protestant fraternal order, is the actual color of airplane black boxes and a symbol of the Netherlands? Orange. Orange. Orange is correct. The practice of dividing a larger state into smaller states is named after what European peninsula? Balkans. Balkans. Balkan is correct. What two men, 
who hired Toussaint Charbonneau at Fort Mandan and led the Corp of Discovery, explored western islands with the help of Sacagawea. The Lewis and Clark Expedition. The Lewis and Clark Expedition. Lewis and Clark is correct. The land of Tortal is the setting of many young adult fantasy novels by what woman, whose Song of the Lioness Quartet depicts a knight named Alana? Any woman out there? No answer. No answer? Next question. What company, whose Topeka workers complained of 84-hour work weeks and went on strike in July 2021, is a PepsiCo subsidiary that makes potato chips? Lay's. 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 Well, I'll accept Lay's. Oh, and with that, Bell is going to signify the end of the round, but fantastic job there. Luddington, you're able to get one, two, three, four, five, six correct answers for 60 points. Thank you, Luddington. Now, Ovid Elsie, it's your turn to enter the final countdown. Here comes your first question. In 1898, Congress passed the Newlands Resolution, allowing the U.S. to annex what territory two years later? Texas. Texas. Texas is incorrect. What particle is a charged lepton less massive than the muon is emitted by beta minus decay and occupies orbitals around atomic nuclei? An electron. Electrons, correct. Special, relativ yeah, special relativity is partly based on an axiom stating that what physical quantity is the same in all reference frames? Gravity. Gravity is incorrect. What color, which represents a Northern Irish Protestant fraternal order, is the actual color of airplane black boxes and a symbol of the Netherlands? Orange. Orange is correct. The practice of dividing a larger state into smaller states is named after what European peninsula? Balkanization. Balkanization is correct. The Balkan Peninsula. What two men who hired Toussaint Charbonneau at Fort Mandan and led the Corps of Discovery explored western lands with the help of Sacagawea? Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark Lewis is correct. And Clark. The land of Tortal is the setting of many young adult fantasy novels by what woman whose Song of the Lioness Quartet depicts a knight named Alana? Pass. Pass. Next question. What company, whose Topeka workers complained of 84-hour work weeks and went on strike in July 2021, is a PepsiCo subsidiary that makes potato chips? Uh, Lays. Lays. Lays is correct. Lays. What mathematician proved the infinitude of primes and included the parallel postulate in his namesake system of geometry in the elements? Euclid. Euclid's correct. Oh, with that bell, we're able to get that one ju just before the bell. After four rounds of competition, our final score is Ludington 250, Ovid LC 210. Both teams tied in points for that final round, but Ludington was able to hold on to the lead that they made early in the game. And to wrap up those final countdown questions that were missed, the U.S. territory allowed to be annexed by the Newlands Resolution was Hawaii. And the author of those young adult books set in Tortal was Tamara Pierce. Today's victors on Quiz Central are the students from Ludington. Congratulations. And we want to thank Ovid Elsie for joining us for a fantastic game of Quiz Central, and congratulations on making it to our second round. Seniors, good luck to all of you in your future. And underclassmen, we hope to see you next season right here on Quiz Central. And we hope all of you will join us again for our next episode of QC as two more Michigan schools compete for the Season 17 title. And as a reminder, all episodes of Quiz Central are archived online at WCMU.org. From the crew here at WCMU Public Television, thank you for watching. And we'll see you right back here for the next episode of Quiz Central. Good night. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.